Let's get to this. There was um, a TPUSA uh, summit. This is the Turning Points USA. The Turning Points is the organization that Charlie Kirk uh, heads. It has had numerous, multiple um, uh, scandals involving explicit racism practiced by some of its chapters. It's all just the chapters. I mean, I think there's maybe one or two guys nationally. That's Charlie Kirk and whoever the Koch brothers have decided to install next to him to make sure he doesn't run off with the money. Um, Candace Owens has since gone on her on her own. And I don't know if that was because she was too pro Hitler or there was some upset even among TPUSA chapters about her nationalism comments. I see. Okay. Regarding Hitler. Now, were they upset that she had walked back those nationalism comments or that she had actually said them in the first place? One chapter was upset, upset she said them in the first place. Okay. I think they're a bit of a satellite, though. Oh, if it means kind of like, protect me. your people and build right. roads, it's great. It's, I mean, it's hard, to, it's hard to know where exactly. Also, uh, we should mention, we mentioned the Koch brothers, but Foster Freeze is really the term. Oh, Foster Freeze, again. right. Yes, exactly. I'm sorry. Apologies. Um, and of course, Foster Freeze also considered one of the last liberals, which is why Dave, um, Dave Rubin now uh, works for these guys. Um, nevertheless, uh, Donald Trump um, showed up. Now, did he actually Isaiah show Berlin. up? He shows up at the end of oh, this oh, clip. Oh, he shows up at the end of this clip. Okay. So first, what we're going to see is um, the, uh, the video, right? There's about a, we'll play some clips from it, but there's about a 13 minute intro video that's sort of North Korea like highlight reel of Donald right. Trump. And um, everyone there is pretty excited to see this. Uh, here it is. These are the MAGA hats. Pause it. You know what? I also, sorry about this. But that that countdown and the uh, the grainy feel of the of the you know what that reminds me of? Uh, yeah, Triumph of Will or whatever that. Well, the yes, style thing is. this is yes. It reminds me of 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 two other things. One, it reminds me of the man in the high castle. Your right? hero, baby. And also, I think I've told this story. In uh, two thousand two, I traveled to Cuba with my uh, then wife to shoot her documentary. And there was a statue of Marti who was considered like a uh, Cuban forefather, like a, like a George Washington. And Marti w had his hand up. Statue was down from the U.S. I don't know if we, they called it embassy at the time, but whatever the U.S. intersect or whatever it was. And Marti w had his hand up, like sort of like basically saying to the United States, stop. And in his hand, he held a boy that represented, I, I thought from a distance, like, oh, like uh, Cuban youth, like the future of Cuba. And it was, there was, it was, it was a copper statue. So there was green all over it. I mean, it looked like it had been there for years. Marti was a figure from the 18, late 1800s. And the base of it was made out of cement, but like half of it was sort of washed away, fully degraded. And that boy was Elian Gonzalez. So the, the statue could not have been more than two or three years old at that point. And so they created this effect that it had been there forever, that it was timeless and uh, I, I found that fascinating in terms of its propaganda value. I think the He's, Confederate statues had a similar thing going on, maybe, in America. Like, they tried to make them look like they've been there forever. On some level, but, I mean, they, they've been there for I mean, 70 not, years. Not I'm not talking like, like three that. years, yeah. and this was built distressed. By uh, the way, though, Elian Gonzalez is grown and sexy now. Well, that may also be the case. But, um, but nevertheless, that's why you put that effect on the front of this video to make it seem like it is he they're they're trying to place him with basically FDR like when you think of the times you see that in front of a reel it immediately evokes a certain era and they're trying to make him look like Churchill I'm stable mates with Churchill I was never in a wheelchair thank you and Ray 
raised in the borough of Queens to a life of hard-earned privilege. He was the fourth of five children born to a... Hard-earned privilege? Wow. There you go. ...in the borough of Queens to a life of hard-earned privilege. He was the fourth of five children born to a Scottish immigrant mother, Mary, and a housing developer father, Fred. Housing developer. ...mark on his son. My father was great. Good salesman. Good builder. He loved to build houses. He was a good builder. I learned so much from him. And he was a great guy, a lovely guy. I loved my father. He described his mother, Mary, he did horrible a things to me. as the perfect housewife. I still housewife. loved him. His father, Fred, horrible, was a millionaire horrible real estate thing. developer. The Trump patriarch has been described as a human machine. Driven. It's a mind bigger than you know, yours. Even when we took showers together. And, and then I learned how to do business that way. He was a human machine. Son. That ambition who was just continually abused me. In young Donald's DNA. He apparently loved military school. He liked the, the kind of out front, I think, competitiveness of it. There were so many different ways that you could excel and get medals. I loved looking around at all these poor saps who were actually going to have to go into the army. socially popular with men. And I wasn't. What's that? This is the part we don't want to talk over. Okay, okay. Let's keep, uh, we'll keep going. Sorry prevalent in young Donald's DNA. He apparently loved military school. He liked the, the kind of out front, I think, competitiveness of it. There were so many different ways that you could excel and get medals and ribbons. Donald Trump thrived, rising in rank, and he was socially popular with men and women. <laughs> he also gravitated towards wow. sports, or rather, winning in sports. I think we saw enough. Uh, this goes on to show uh, clips of him beating up the other people in the uh, Republican presidential race. We're not going to have a little oh, dose yeah. of that. That was, that was a um, lot. Of, it, amazing. We have Trump. Amazing. We watch me well humiliate Jeb Bush. Amazing how well that holds Jeff. up. Um, but so uh, he comes out and uh, there are, well, I mean, let's watch it. Nice car. A rap Dude. video. That's like a rap video. Is that Skrillex? So good. Oh, that's why they have two uh, presidential seals, because one is animated. Oh, thanks for my rap video. Well done, this is peak capitalist realism. Hashtag free Rocky, you And there's uh, Donald Trump walking next to a seal, and you can see... That's as much as you can see on this clip, and then uh, we'll s- switch to the uh, still image. I can image. only think of sassy Trump when I see him in this kind of mode, just like literally sitting there, like, saying, like, thank you, thank, thank you. you. He looks so appreciative. So, um, apparently, someone at Turning Points USA, either purposely or probably just sloppily, <laughs> found a second president of the United States seal that turned out to be created by this guy, Charles Lizotte. He is a 46-year-old graphic designer. He threw it together after the 2016 presidential election. Um, <laughs> he used to be a Republican. Voted for George W. Bush. I think it's going to take maybe, maybe this seal does it uh, where it showed up. But he made this seal. It mocks uh, uh, President Trump because it, the eagle has in his hand instead of <laughs> instead of arrows, he has golf clubs. Oh um, he replaced the United States Latin um, uh, symbol that is or slogan uh, logo. Uh, motto i should say with apparently what is a spanish insult and does that say es un pendejo i i don't know what it says but i think so and so it replaced it replaced the uh two-headed um eagle imperial bird uh logo um or i should say um it 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 included a two-headed imperial bird which apparently is from the russian coat of arms um 
And uh, apparently, like, the Washington Post realized, like, hey, wait a second. That's a fake logo. <laughs> Nobody noticed the golf clubs, which is really shocking. Like, you know, like, I can't see well, the golf logo. Clubs, that's just like an update of the seal for Trump's personality. Yeah, can it's, we actually make that the seal, though? I like that, actually. That works. First, that fire that We're joking, but I, I think we should do that. Think so we should think no, one, uh, no one at Turning Points USA caught it. Um, and Patriots. Oh, I guess instead of E Pluribus Unum, it says um, uh, 45 S un titier, which is a uh, 45 is a puppet. Um, uh, it's all Russia. No material. puppet. Yeah. No puppet. You're the puppet. And you're the puppet. The one who beat, who redid the seal. You're the puppet. You're the puppet. Uh, so apparently, Turning Points USA said that the uh, incident was a last-minute oversight, the result of a quick online search to find a second high-resolution photo of the presidential seal to place behind Trump. Wow. Said the mistake was unacceptable. And Unaccept you're fired. Well, we've all been there. Yes. And uh, <laughs> we did let the individual go, the spokesman said. I don't think it was malicious intent, but nevertheless, there you go. That's the way I like that. That's the way. But nevertheless, we dropped the ax on this guy. We do not allow for mistakes that don't involve racism in this uh, organization. If you're going to make a mistake, it better be racist. Or you're fired. Um, folks.